Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. Hearts of Iron 4, not really, but also it kind of is. We're doing a tier list because uh, I've been having a lot of difficult times lately where I don't really have any time to record any gameplay. Basically, I'm passing out every other day, which makes it kind of difficult to record gameplay, but I'm trying. I'll make sure to record some tomorrow, but tonight I just want to relax a little bit take it easy. It's also why I haven't been streaming. Well, that and the fact that I don't have, have my own fucking room to stream out of, which is annoying. But anyway, we are here for some top tier content. See what I did there? It's because we're doing tier lists. Uh, Hoi4 tier lists. I, I just looked up Hoi4 tier lists. You know what? It might not be creative, but it's... Shut, shut the fuck up, alright? We'll, we'll, we'll do this. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it whether you want to or not. All right, let's do the first one. Actually, this one looks like trash, <laughs> to be honest. This looks like Twitch bait or something like that. So let's just do the most important one. Hoi4 YouTubers. Let's, uh, you know, rank all the YouTubers that play Hoi4 accordingly. Hmm. Well, right off the bat, you guys may notice this tier list is shit. Because I'm not in it. How dare they not include me? I am a 2k uh, subscriber YouTuber. Basically, biggest one of all of these guys. But you know what? Times are tough. I will do this one. Despite the fact that this tier list is not that good. Because of... Uh, uh. Anyway. Let's see who we will be starting with. Um... Well, I know Veilfisk, he is a uh, Polish boy, as far as I know, and he's actually really good at the game. He's also got a calming, smooth and charming voice, which I really love. So I'll, I'll put him, I'll definitely want to put him high up there. Uh, I'll put him at B for now, I might raise him. For now, I want to keep him here. Just, just, don't worry, Veil, you're good. We, we got you, we got you. But I, I want a placeholder for now, you know to um you know see what the fuck is going on all right next up i think this is dale i think <laughs> all right my non my non-knowledge of uh oi4 youtubers as i was gonna show because i don't know him i don't know this guy what the fuck anyway uh, i think this is dale and i as far as i know he worked for paradox so it's good but I, the fact that I don't know him, I'll, I want to put him below Veilfisk. He would be in here, but the fact that he worked for Paradox, as far as I know, puts him a tier up right under Veilfisk. Next up, Tommy K. Um, big alpha male. Big, big alpha male. So I definitely want to put him high up there. But he is balding, you know? And some people may say that that's actually a bad thing you know uh, balding puts him from an eight eight tier um youtuber slash streamer down to a b tier but if you ask me it's actually a good thing that he's balding you know give him like five years and he'll be completely bald and then when you're feeling down in a hoi4 game you just go up to tommy k you just rub that shiny crystal ball of his a bald crystal ball and you might get your future predicted maybe it's possible and possible is good enough for me to put him up to a tier right above Velfisk. now next up Bo I like Bo I, I, I watch every one of his videos well every one of his um um Hoi4 meme videos, every one of his fig for um, two me uh, meme videos, all of his me meme videos, I really enjoyed them. And god damn it, I miss his SCP videos as well. They were mwah, exquisite to the point where I want to play SCP as well. But we are not here for that. We are here to rank that boy. And uh, Bo, you know, I like his videos a lot. He is Danish though. You know what that means? You know what they say about Danish people, right? You know what they say about Danish people? They're not Belgian, so he's going down here. He's no, no, unacceptable. Uh, next up, this guy, 
Remy Down Under Gaming. I haven't been watching his content that much lately, but his con his country is kind of on fire, so I feel like you know I'm, I'll, I'll I'll let you put it. I'll I'll put you up in here. I'll I'll let you have the spot. And as soon as your country's done burning, you, you can go down a spot. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm putting you down to D, but whatever. For now, you're you're stuck here in C class, all right? You're doing well. Could be better, could be worse. I wouldn't know if it's the quality of the videos or who you are as a person because it's been a while since I watched you. But you know, C is a very admirable place. You know, if I would place myself, I'd be probably somewhere in here. So you're doing well. Don't don't you worry, little buddy. Don't you worry. Anyway, next up, we got Drew Durnell. He's a bit of a milf. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, definitely would smash A tier. I mean, look at him. Look, he has no head. Means he's good. He's good at giving head. He 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 is so good at giving head. He lost a part of his head over in here. So that's got to count for something, right? Anyway, A tier, A tier. Next up, we got the spiffing Brit. Now oh, he's a he's a bit of a staple. I'm going to put him in here right now, so I can move the mouse up a little bit. But he's been a staple of the Hoi4 community. And he's actually grown his channel up to a million subscribers, which I want to put him in here. He was actually one of my favorite Hoi4 gamer boys back in the day. But he's since stopped, so that's why I'm not putting him in A tier but instead of B tier. But still, very entertaining videos. He's just not as much of a Hoi4 gamer boy as he used to be. Therefore, B tier. Next up... We got <laughs> feedback game. I don't know why I found that funny, but feedback gaming is here as well. I don't know why it's funny, but who cares? I'll put him here for now so I can scroll up. There we go. And as for him, um, yeah, his content actually improved a lot. I feel like it used to be more my style of content where it's just less place, but he, he edited it down a little bit. You know, made, made it more polished, so I definitely want to put him up here. I like his videos. He's got a cool beret, so... Mwah. Very sexy. Very cool. Thank you. Next up. We got... ISP. Well, ISP over here and iSource Productions over here. Two very different people. Uh, very different types of content, obviously. This is gaming content. Meanwhile, this is gaming content, so it's very different. And I do have to say, ISP, I, I, I was a subscriber of ISP bef before he hit 2,000 subscribers, so he, he's, he's got a very special spot in my heart. He's the one that got me into Hoi4 as well, so, you know, very, very high up there. Definitely, ISR Productions, very, very cool. I would definitely put you way up there. In fact, if there was like a ranking in between A and B, I would put him up there. Because I do feel like he should be somewhere in here. But he can't beat Drew the Milf and uh, sexy bald Tommy K either. Now next up, we got ISP. And, you know, let's be honest. ISR Productions has great content, but... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's just... It's very... It's just the way the world was intended to be. I, I saw our productions may be mad if he knew who I was. That I would rank it this way. But even he can't deny. ISB is better than I saw our productions. And that's why ISB should be way up here. In A tier. Now next up, we got Motorcycle Man. Motorcycle Man... Actually, let me look up Motorcycle Man. Motor Cycle Man Hoy 4. Can I find him? No. I have no idea who Motorcycle Man is in Hoy 4, sadly. So, therefore, you know, an admirable effort. But I, I'm sorry, buddy. You might be the coolest guy at Not Mankind. I just don't know who you are. I wish I knew. Love watching Hoi 4 videos, so. But alas, I do not know. He's probably way more um, known in the community than I am, so. Still, it's funny. Anyway, last but not least, we got Alex the Rambler. Also, a bit of, bit of a bald god, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. 
but he's been slacking on the Hoi forefront. So while I do want to place him high up there, I, I really can't. I, I really cannot do that just yet. Uh, he's making good content, I'd say. Yeah, he's definitely up in here. I'd, I wish there was a... You know what? I, I got this. No. There we go. One lower. One lower. There we go. I fixed it. Where's... There we go. I fixed it. Wait, what? This isn't... This isn't... What? You know what? Ignore the letters. Ignore, <laughs> ignore the letters or the color grade. Uh, this is actually A, B, C, D, E, and you know, well, sorry man, it's great videos, but you're, you're not Belgian, so I'm afraid you're gonna have to stay down there. There we go, that's my tier list of Hoi4 YouTubers. Uh, there were a few more, so I want to give a, give those a go at least. What else is there? Hoi4 Nations? Oh, lord. <laughs> These are some epic fucking flags. Holy shit, what is this? Is this a fucking JPEG? Brother, no, no, this is not okay. <laughs> anyway, well, I only need to rank one, really. As we know, China number one goes up in here. But it wasn't actually China, it was actually Hong Kong that's number one, so bam. Boom, completed this list. Uh, I have no idea why this is shit. Obviously very high quality tier list, but anyway. <laughs> oh man, uh, I thought I could get a few um, of these listings done, but the last, this one's kind of a very low letter resolution. Let's watch the players, what the hell is this? Oh yes, my favorite players. Children, children's drawing of his name one and children's drawing of his name two. Epic. Thank you. Very cool. What's next? Best 44 players? Oh, they're actually from, you know, multiplayer games. Which I have absolutely no idea how that shit works. So, uh, I'm gonna swiftly retreat from this little list. So, all that's left is, uh, this one. And I can already tell. Yep, and there's poop emojis on there. What the fuck is this? Can I select everyone? You know what? There we go. This is... There we go. Epic. Big epic. All, all. There we go. There we go. Epic. Anyway, next list. We're, we're just chasing through all of these ones. Jesus Christ, I thought we'd be here for like 20 minutes or something. But no. Anyway, we got one more left. Might as well continue with this one. Oh, this one's got good fucking ratings. That means this is an actually legit one. And I can actually find out about some mods because I'm pretty sure I haven't played more than half of these ones. Uh, so let's start up with a few ones that I do know. First off, let me find Kaiserreich. It should be in here. There it is. Kaiserreich. Obviously, S tier. It's my favorite mod. I act honestly do think it's better than the base game. Because there's so much added in there. I get that some people don't like the fact that you're kind of stuck behind your focuses. Uh, and it is a valid criticism. But still, I do think the way that they handle the game is way better than the base game itself right now. And Fear Reich is based on Kaiser Reich. Uh, while not as good as Kaiser Reich, it's still very good. And I would arguably place it down in the same uh, category over in here. Now, some other mods that are fun aren't really that polished um which one would that be i a premod what le deluge is good i like it a lot but it's a very bare bones in mechanics there's very little to do and every country is sort of the same as in the most of the countries have a very similar focus tree at least it's built in a very similar way which i kind of don't like I wish there was more diversity, but it's still a very fun mod to play. Now, next up, we got this, uh, the End of the World, War of the Worlds mod, which was about alien invasions, which makes no sense, but that was such a great mod to play. I enjoyed it a lot. I've only played it once, but I really enjoyed it. It's a shame that it crashed at the end, but I don't think it's against something that you should put against the mod. It was just me being unlucky, but it's very well made. 
a very interesting if, if you want to relax have a fun little game while role playing a bit that's a good mod to play now next up and i wish oh in the name of the tsar very good mod as well i, th I think the name of the tsar is one of those what if blank one but well done it's not what if i don't know mcdonald's won world war one or what if applebee's destroyed adolf hitler before he got to power the mod or something it's actually a pretty well made thing where it's somewhat balanced as well while russia does have a lot of um gains that it gained from winning world war one it still isn't infallible and you can see that in the mod so i'm very very cool indeed next up espanol i don't speak it sorry <laughs> so you gotta put it there uh what else have you got millennium dawn? i kind of don't like millennium dawn i'm gonna be honest it's ah uh, it's overrated um, what else have you got? Nseek is really good as far. I've, I've played it once and I've heard that Nseek actually got a good World War One scenario. Even better than the World War One scenario mod. So I'm gonna put it up here. And there was a World War One scenario in here somewhere, right? Should be. Uh, I have no idea to be honest. I think this is the one? It's all too small. I can barely see it to be honest. Anyway, I'll, I'll put it in here. I, I, I don't... No, you don't know here. There you go. That's that's fine. Cause I do remember playing the World War One mod and it being absolutely not playable at the time, so didn't have a, that good of an experience. Um, I'm not into My Little Pony, so I'm gonna have to put in here. And to be honest, I'm not really into the old world blues either. It doesn't really appeal to me playing as the factions. It, I get that a lot of people like it, and I do like Fallout, but I don't like Fallout and OE4 combined. I don't know why, it's just the way I be. I respect you if you like this mod, but I just can't play it. Really, I, I don't enjoy it that much. I can't really roleplay into it, if that makes any sense. Red World. I do think that's the, the one with the hippie friends, and it, that's with a really weird focus group that are really cool. So I would say that it would, would be almost on par with uh, Kaiserreich and Führerreich. In fact, I'm gonna put them there because they're it's a very early development mod, but there's all, already so much to do and so much fun to be had that I'm looking for, forward to seeing what that's gonna be like in the future. Next up, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this one is. Putting it here. Road 56, definitely A tier. Just because there's it's just base game, but better. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot more tech. There's a lot more focuses. There's a lot more decisions. Everything's just better. Just an objective upgrade. Why? What's not? What's not to like? Darkest Tower I also like, but like less because it's way too complicated for what it needs to be. Like there's there's a beauty in simplicity, if you ask me. And I do get that some people want more realism, which is good for this one, but it's not something for me. So therefore, I'm gonna have to put it in B tier, which is still good. But not as good as uh, Road 56 to me. Next up, this I, I don't know what this is. I this seems familiar. I the war to end all wars. I think it's an oh yeah, is that the alternative mod where France wins world um, uh, some kind of revolution? I don't know. Or the or the um, what if Napoleon wins? Was that the one? I think it is. I'm put it. I'm just gonna put it in here. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Fatherland. I've looked at the screenshot. It looks really cool, uh, but it's definitely not done. And same can be said with. There were two, right? Or there already? No, never mind. Maybe I'm just dumb. Dumb. I, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's what of Byzantium one. That seems to be appropriate. I'm just gonna put it in here. I don't know. I don't want to put too many up in here. I want to put most of them in D rank. Because, you know, it's got to be like a cone. Despite the fact that it's not a cone, it's actually just a butt plug right now. Um, but anyway, calm for the storm. You know, I'm putting it here for symmetry's sake. So they can make a nice little pyramid thingy happen over here. The new order. I saw some screenshots. I've played it a little, little bit. It's not done, but so there's a lot of potential. Cold War. Actually, kind of like as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm putting it up here. I'm, I don't want to put it in the same category as these ones because these ones are objectively better, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, the rest, you know, what? honestly, these ones I all are all unknown to me. So I'm just gonna put them in here. There you go. And most importantly, it makes a little pyramid thingy. Well, at least half of it. So that's basically my end goal, and that concludes my 
to your list. It's a bit of rushed, I feel like. I feel like I could have talked about it more, but holy shit, we're already at 20 minutes, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess not. I did explain a lot of my uh, thought process, so that's cool if you do, uh, if I do say so myself. And I'd like to think that my tier list is very, very up there in what people think. I, I do think most people can agree these mods are really good, and... Um, yeah, maybe people won't be agreeing with this one, and some won't be agreeing with this one. But it's just, I don't enjoy it. That's why, alright? And the, the all C class is basically, I have no idea what this is. That's why they're here. I don't know, it's kind of funny, but oh well. Any anyway, oh, CJ. CJ, hell yeah. I didn't know you can actually alter this. Hell yeah. This is, this is big PP. This is big PP. This one is a um, big PP. And this is a small PP and this is no PP. There we go. This is my ranking of Hoi formats. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, it's, it's a bit different content, but I just felt like doing something else while I relax. And hopefully I'm not gonna pass out tonight. I do feel tired as all fuck, but I kind of wish I could go back to recording some stuff. It's just, you know, work, studying, social life. It's just too much sometimes. Wish this was my job. Uh, that way I could, you know, justify putting all my time into this instead of studying or working. But, no, it is not. Therefore, I'll have to prioritize studying at work, which is tiring me out endlessly. But alas, what can you do, right? For now, this was uh, it for the TLS. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.